Well, that was certainly a better performance, and it, it's just one of those results you kind of take for granted, you expect. If we didn't win the three points today, it, it would have been a, a travesty. Although we had ten shots on target, it, it still felt really boring to watch, and I don't know why. Like We crossed the ball in so many times, and there was just no one there. And when we did create something, it, it just seemed as though we were taking an age to actually shoot or actually do something. I mean, we've won. That's all I'm going to ask for for the end of the season, to be honest. Like, I have been complaining a lot on Twitter because it, it is very boring, but Domian did score a banger. It was a truly sensational goal. Ball comes out to him from a corner, and uh, it's knocked down to him. He, he takes a wonderful touch. I think it's a chest that he does, and then he just volleys it, and there's no goalkeeper in the world that would save that. In off the post, fantastic. Obviously a goal from Delaney, an own goal in the first five minutes from a terrible cross, and it was a hell of a goal, not going to lie. Like, brilliant finish from Delaney. Uh, and yeah, 2-0. We had chances. We, You know, Rashford had chances. Martial had a couple. Uh, he had probably the best chance that didn't turn out to be a goal uh, when he burst on through, but it was a fantastic save from Spironi, I think, in net. And yeah, it's, there's not much more to say. I mean, we, we won 2-0. We had probably our most shots on target this season, but still, it just lacked tempo. I think that's the reason, like, it was so slow. Palace were truly awful. They were worse than Villa last week against us. Like That is the worst performance I've seen from a team ever. And I'm sure Palace fans really aren't too fussed because they are mathematically... Well, they're not mathematically safe, but they're eight points clear the relegation zone. They're not going to go down, which is why they've gave up. And these are the kind of teams towards the end of the season you really do want to be playing. The likes of Bournemouth, Watford... Uh, West Brom, Crystal Palace, because they've effectively got nothing to play for. Even Everton. I mean, Everton. Fuck me. 4-0 uh, uh, against Liverpool. Might be more by the time, um, you know, the game hasn't actually finished. Uh, it's got like five minutes left, so it could be five. Uh, maybe even six. Like, Funus Murray's been sent off. We've got Everton in the Capital One Cup. Uh, Capital One Cup? I just said that, didn't I? I just said, oh my God, no. The FA Cup semi-final at Wembley on Sunday... And they're without Funus Murray. They've just been absolutely thrashed by their rivals. No excuses. We have to win. They have been so bad under Martinez this season. But uh, in terms of this game, happy with the win. The performance was better. Hopefully against better sides, though, we can show this level of performance. Just, you know, get a few more shots on target and just try and up the tempo a little bit more. I like the way we set out. I mean, Bar Rooney being in midfield, I think, as a calm... He's perfect uh, at the age he is when he's got pace around him. But centre mid, if we actually played a team who actually wanted to win, then maybe we'd have a bit of trouble with Rooney uh, alongside Schneidlin at kind of defensive slash centre mid. But um, yeah, all in all, positives to be taken. Like Just we're one point off Arsenal, two points off City. We could get in the top four. There's all this speculation about whether Mourinho's coming in, whether he's not, whether Van Hal's staying for another year. Oh, really, I, I really hope he's not staying for another year, but I, I still, this is the awkward situation that a, a lot of Man United fans find themselves in, particularly the ones that actually want Jose Mourinho in. I never want Man United to lose, and I, I honestly, never, ever. And it's just really, really awkward, because if we do get in top four, the likelihood is we're not going to sack Van Hal. And we won't get Jose Mourinho, which means we'll miss out on him. He'll get another job and it'll take three, four years, even if, like, if he still wants to by then. And if we've got a vacancy in three, four years time to get him back, which is why I want Mourinho in, because this is probably our last chance to get him. And if we don't now, we're never going to do it. So it, it's just really, really irritating. If we do get in top four, Van Hal stays and just hopefully we, we can somehow do something next season. But... Uh, I, I just I just want to win the FA Cup, see what happens with that. We, we've got two games left of that and uh, see what happens in the league. But I've ne it's just such a weird position to be in as a fan. And I'm sure a lot of other Man United fans feel like this. They're confused at what they actually want. And um, it, it's all because the hierarchy is just messed up. But anyway, we've won 2-0. Like, it's so negative, this review. I do apologise. We've won 2-0. I'm sure a lot of other teams in the league would be happy with a 2-0 win. So, you know what? We've won one point off Arsenal, two points off C. Let's see what happens.